Hey guys, the successor of the smallest VR headset on this planet was just announced. I'm talking about the Big Screen Beyond 2, the successor of this small device here. And in this video we will yeah, talk a little bit what was announced, what we already know and, and what my opinion is about this new headset. Uh, it's very interesting for me because the Big Screen Beyond 1 is one of my favorite VR headsets. So that's why I'm really uh, interested in the Big Screen Beyond 2. So my name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de Yeah guys, Big Screen Beyond 2. It's announced. It's announced. So what do we have? What do we already know? So the device looks pretty similar than the first one. To be honest, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> but uh, we have some news about this headset. So um, we have, we can go through that here now. So here it is. Yeah, as you see, it looks pretty the same. But here, what you, what can you see here? We have adjustable IPD guys. This is the first time we have adjustable IPD and the range goes from 53 to 70 millimeters. Yeah, that's insane. And, and we can adjust it with this small screwdriver from every side, individual. Yeah, that's, there you can see that here. Um, that's great. And what do we see here? Yeah, this is eye tracking. They have integrated eye tracking and with this sm such a small headset they say they have built in the smallest eye tracking on the world. So the sensor is like a sand corn. It's, it's like uh, really really small. Then we have three different colors. We have black, then uh, this translucent and uh, orange one. Wow, nice guys. So now he's talking about the new optics. We have uh, a bigger field of view now. This is 116 degrees uh, diagonal. Yeah, For me, the old Big Screen Beyond had a uh, field of view vertical 88 and horizontal 94, which was pretty small. So I hope for me, this is a big, a bigger, yeah. Um, for, uh, for me, it's always smaller than for other people because of my head shape and so on. Yeah, so 100, 160. Then we have better edge to edge clarity, they say, the larger sweet spot. And then we have reduced glare. Very interesting. Also, the brightness is much higher now. Yeah, for people that. Uh, here's the resolution. Give me a second. That's the same resolution that, like with the old big screen beyond. It's 2560 by 2560. Yeah, so the same resolution. That's not a big resolution when you compare it to other uh, headsets like the Megan X or or so, uh, and the Pimax Crystal Super has. They have much higher um, resolution. So uh, here they said they show the new lenses and so on. Then we have. Uh, Still the 3D scanned interface, but uh, wait, there is uh, still other stuff. You can do it individual, but then uh, adjustable IPD. So if you sell it, the next uh, one, the next owner only needs the new cushion, but there's also other possibilities. We'll see that later. And uh, yeah, here's the personal cushion. You have to scan your face and so on. Then uh, here you can see that you can adjust the IPD with a screwdriver. Yeah, this is the uh, 48 to 75 maximum with this range. Then here we have a new halo strap. Look at this. Yeah, that's crazy. New halo strap. Um, and that means uh, the weight sits on, the, on your forehead here. And look at this. We have a silicon interface here. And this is um, not individual. Everybody can use it. So you can sell the headset and everybody can use it with adjustable IPD and this uh, silicon interface. Yeah, But you can still uh, mount the um, audio strap to that. Yeah, Crazy. Here. Yeah, wait. Here you can see the audio strap. It's still the same. It's compatible with the old one. Yeah, so you can use the old one. Yeah. And here you can see, wait, uh, here you can see that uh, they uh, have um, no face cushion here. So you have the biggest field of view, 
but you can also use it with a with a face cushion, yeah. And then here's the silicon interface, yeah. Crazy, wow. Yeah, so this is uh, crazy. You don't need a 3D face scan uh, with the uh, silicon interface. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> yeah, new optics. Oh wait, and uh, there is one thing, yeah, we have 107 grams now, so they reduced it um, 20 grams, yeah, it's even lighter now. Here are the three colors that we, uh, that I told you, wow. <laughs> wait, da -da -dum, da -dum. Uh, yeah, they are talking about the eye tracking now, that's for VR chat and so on. And uh, yeah, that uh, scans your eyes, of course. But uh, yeah, to be honest, so everybody's talking about eye tracking in the in the headsets. But let's be honest, when do we use that? I mean, of course, yeah, if you play VR chat for your avatar and so on. But normally, pff, eye tracking is not really used, even not for dynamic foveated rendering. Yeah. It's not supported by so many uh, apps and games. That's a huge problem. So I'm not, I don't really need the eye tracking to be honest. I would e even reduce the weight more. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's possible yeah, uh, uh, to buy it without eye tracking. We will see that later. Uh, wait, where, where is he talking about that? Uh, here we go. Yeah. There's again the halo strap, the new design, very small, <laughs> we have uh, two USB and here is the price. So this is the uh, version without the, the eye tracking, it's $1019, I think it's the same price than the old one, right? And here's the one with the eye tracking, it's $1219 yeah, with eye tracking. Um, if you already own the old big screen one, then you get the upgrade for $849. Yeah, that's also great perhaps. And if you already ordered the old one and it didn't ship yet, I think you automati automatically get the new one, as I understood. Yeah. So here you can cha uh, change it. Uh, you see that here in the... Um, your basket, then you can change the colors and here you can use the uh, personalized face cushion or the universal face cushion with the, bundled with the halo strap. Wow, uh, very cool. Now uh, here they're talking about their Discord. Yeah, this, this is what I meant for the customers. Uh, they already have the uh, big screen beyond one. Really nice, yeah, and here it says you can order it right now. So if you're interested in that, you can order it now. In the description, you will find um, the link to the headset and in the first pinned comment. I, I'm not sure if this link uh, still works. You can support me a little bit if you go via that link. Uh, just try it, it would be great. And uh, yeah, then the shipping is already in April 2025. That is insane, yeah, it's really insane. And uh, yeah, what, what do I think about it? So the resolution, let's be honest, it's not a, the big uh, deal, yeah? So uh, other headsets have higher resolution and so on, have higher field of view. But this one is the smallest headset and it's now even lighter. It's even much lighter than the um, Megan X Super Lite 8K, yeah? That's, that's great. And, but the thing is, I have no idea how good is the new quality of the lenses. Is it really better at search clarity? Is the glare less? Is the brightness better? We will see. I will try the headset as soon as possible, of course, and then we will see. Yeah. Also, I'm looking forward to try the halo strap and also the silicon face cushion. Yeah, we will see. And the most important thing for me is the field of view. So normally, as I said, I, uh, the value that the developers say minus like 25 or even 30% for my head shape. That's bad, but yeah, we, we will see. So yeah, what do you think guys? What do you think? It's very interesting that they moved forward, yeah? 
Um, I'm not so interested, as I said, in the eye tracking. I mean, it depends on what they do with that. Yeah, that that's uh, very interesting. Then perhaps with, with dynamic foveate rendering or so. But uh, to be honest, I don't need that. And yeah, light, very light. It's very light. We have the IPD adjustment, really cool. So for people that want to sell it again, that's really good. Yeah, uh, for, for the old one, you. you that was pretty impossible. You need the same IPD and so on. Yeah. So guys, this was the big screen beyond two. So uh, I will do a review as soon as possible when I get it. And uh, yeah, when you are, want to pre-order it now, please go via my link in the description and your first pin comment. And tell me what you think about it. Write it in the comments. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo D.E.